Hey guys, thanks for watching. It's Mike, and I don't know about you, but right now I, I am absolutely starving. So let's make something good to eat. And this is one of my first recipe videos I've ever made, and I don't have a clever name for it. It's just gonna be called Big Tomato in a Rice Cooker. Simplest, most delicious thing I have ever cooked. And here's how it's done. Take your rice cooker, add two cups of rice, give it a wash, add the corresponding amount of water, whatever is used to cook two cups of rice, but add a little less than you typically would because the tomato is gonna give you a lot of moisture. And when I'm cooking rice, I do it the Chinese way. I, I don't really measure my water. I gauge it with my fingers. You now all you gotta do is take your ripened tomato. This is very, very, very important. Don't take a tomato that's too hard or it's green. Remove the stem. Take your tomato, face plant it into your rice. Teaspoon of olive oil, half a teaspoon of pepper, teaspoon of salt. This is all you need to make a beautiful batch of tomato-y rice. Close your rice cooker up, turn it on, and that's it, walk away. This tomato and rice dish is done. Let's check it out. Here's my favorite part. That is so satisfying. You guys seeing all the videos on YouTube about people popping pimples? Why are you watching that? Like, film some tomatoes being popped. The beautiful tomato juice is just covering all the rice. Scoop a little bit in my bowl. Oh. The rice completely infused with the tomato -y flavor. Not much seasoning. All I really add is a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. But if you do this, the simple plain rice just becomes more flavorful. It's more nutritious. It's more fun. This is really fun to cook, right? As much as I love this, I'm gonna show you guys how to jazz this up a bit. You can put whatever you want in there. As long as you got the base ingredients, you got the tomato, you add enough salt, you got enough oil, pepper, you can add anything you want. And so today I'm gonna add some stuff that's healthy for me. I got some asparagus, I got some mushrooms, I got Got some potatoes. You basically want to add ingredients that isn't afraid to be steamed or boiled. And then I'm gonna add spam because I have a lot of spam and I love spam and this is my protein. I'm gonna put uh, three cups of rice in here this time um, because I'm gonna be sharing with my friends. This is jalapeno spam. Chop the spam into little pieces. And I'm gonna add some potatoes because I love rice and potatoes. So that is nice and cooked and melty. Also, just gonna dice up some garlic. Now, before the veggies and the meats go in, I gotta season the rice. So again, olive oil, three to four teaspoons this time. I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of sesame oil to give it some nice aroma. Teaspoon of black pepper, dash of white pepper, garlic goes in. Now, I'm gonna add in my potatoes because I want my potato to be submerged in the water. Otherwise, it might not get cooked all the way. Potatoes goes on the bottom, then the mushrooms, the asparagus, and a massive mountain of Spam. And before I put the Spam in, I just wanna add a teaspoon of oyster sauce, give that some extra flavor, and then a teaspoon of soy sauce. And finally, a teaspoon of salt. Spam goes in, and I'm putting the Spam on top again because I want this to cook and have all that nice Spammy fat melting over everything. Top it off with just a few pieces of basil. I really don't know how this is gonna go, but, in about half an hour, we're gonna find out. Rice is ready. It smells so good. I'm serious, it smells so good. Ooh, it smells so meaty and basil-y. My favorite moment. Oh, look at all that juice coming out. And all that juice is gonna soak into the rice. And I wish I actually could have found a bigger tomato, but I love using vine tomatoes because I feel like they're the best for this dish. Okay, here we go. Get a spoonful with Spam, mushrooms, potatoes, tomatoes. Oh, oh, this is beyond good. This is way better than I thought it was gonna be. Mmm, asparagus still retain its crunch. Let me find a potato in here, soft and melty. Spam, what can I say about Spam except for I, I love you Spam and I wish people would Spam me more in terms of food. Mmm, this is a combo of that bite. I taste the fragrant flavors of the sesame oil. It's peppery. I didn't put that much seasoning in here because I knew the spam would bring a lot of sodium. And this is perfect. The rice is a bit sticky because you got that tomato juice flowing everywhere. Oh, I love the oyster mushrooms in here. Mmm, only one thing to make this better. You know what it is. Fresh batch of hot oil. Mmm, that just with the spammy tomato rice ordered. Again, the only thing I wish was, I wish I put another tomato in here, but that's the only thing I would change. This is a great meal. And guys, like I said over and over again, it was so customizable. And I added Spam, but you, you could add bacon, you could add some chicken, you could add beef. Well, if you use beef, make sure you cook it first. Make sure all the meat is cooked before it goes inside and just get really creative with this. And this is like the perfect time saver as well. I chopped up some things, I tossed it in there with some seasoning, I hit a button. 
This is so ridiculously simple and so ridiculously delicious. You won't even believe it until you try it. So go home, try it, let me know how you like it. Also, also I do want to mention a new shirt has come out. Extra spicy please in English and in Chinese. So next time you go to a Chinese restaurant, you want to get some extra spice, just you don't have to say it, just put it to your shirt. I'm always thinking about what's convenient for you guys right now. All right, I'm going to get back to this and you guys, you guys should go try this like tonight. Thanks so much for watching. Until we cook again, I'll see you later.